Hi guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Tornado V3 Flagship Edition. Let's get right into it. Just pop off this plastic bit, just like that. Not very hard. Also, I am yet again in a new space again because sometimes I can't use spaces. I can't use the one with the nice wooden desk anymore because my brother's using that. And I can't use the other one because people are currently doing something there. So I have to use this space. Ooh, here we go. That's the cube. Put the cube to the side. Grabs the, grab the adjustment tool. Got, got my new credit card. Pretty cool. Got a setting tool. Okay, it's pretty cool. Got a, a, um, <laughs> a cloth, not sure why I would need that. I got a tutorial of how to like do settings and everything. That's can also go there. Ooh. And then, that's like nothing really else in the box. A nice leather um, bag. It feels fake. I don't know if it's fake though. Um, I'll put these things to the side. Also, in this order, I also got Angstrom, Dignitas, and Weight 5. So now I can make this cube Yo, like uh, the Yo lube mixed together to make this cube even better. I won't do it in this video, but I'll do it um, not on camera. But yeah, I'll open this now. Ooh, there's Premium. Close the box. Wow. Whoa, that's mega good. Wow. That is really good. And it's also very quiet. So if you want like a slow, if sorry, not a slow, if you want a um, not very loud cube that you want to um, use while you're on like a train or something, or like your friends doing something and they don't want you to make any noise this is the perfect cube for that and it's also just really smooth even without the lube i'm going to put in soon which is these two and then dnm and mystic and then if you put them together and in this cube it makes it really good but you do have to do like a hundred cells to break in the lube to make it really good. So yeah. Also, this is the flagship, not the Pioneer. So it doesn't have maglev. Because the maglev might be too fast. And this is this is also very controllable, which I like a lot. I like controllable cubes. They're quite nice. I'm going to try it in the box, in the bag. Not the box. Okay, it's kind of weird to not. That's quite cool. I'll take it out. Also, I'm going to a competition in four days. So I might lube this and then use it. Either that or I'll use my Gun 11 and Duo. I'm still yet to decide. Also has some cool tensions and there is like on the edges and corners. And then if I just take the center cap off, just like, hmm. They're a bit tricky to get off. Okay, I managed to get the centerpiece off. So how it works is you flip up this little thingy. If I can get it to flip up. Yeah, I found it. So there's this little handle and then you can just turn it to do the adjustments. So as you can see, if you look at that, you see the outer ring. Future EH cubes here, past EH cubes did not really know how it works. So I will explain it. Um, so how it works is you see like 2-2 two, two is there. So when you turn it, is it, um, counter, no, when you turn it clockwise, it turns the whole ring and those numbers. But when you turn it, um, counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, it only moves this ring. It, it only moves this thing in the middle, the handle. So as you can see, the two is there, 
when I move it anti-clockwise, nothing happens. But then when I move it clock clock clockwise, the two will move. So that is how this works. Check the centerpiece back on. Also, the centerpiece is quite cool. I like that design. Um, yeah. So that is the Tornado V3 for you. And yeah. Also, don't forget to like, share, ring that little bell, and subscribe. So I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Hope you like my new credit card. Oh, 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 oh,